everybody. Hey, good morning. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Jason, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. We've had a nice set of snow, so winter has properly started here in Canada. Well, it's a, it's a very quiet week. Almost everyone is on vacation or yeah. just taking it low. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my Thursday and Friday. It's very, it's the most meeting free I ever get. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Hey, Patty. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Hey, Dan. It was the first time I got kicked to the cap show when trying to join. I had to find all the staircases in the photos. Really? To join Zoomies? Yeah, they thought I was a, some kind of robot for some reason. Oh, I've not seen that. So your staircase identification is good then? I took a couple tries but <laughs> give people a couple more minutes i'll pull up the agenda while we wait and drop the link into chat though mm -hmm. Okay, link is there if anybody wants to edit or add things, and I should be sharing um, the agenda right now. I've got a pretty short one, but it's a short week for most people in the U.S. anyway. Grab some more links to drop in here while we wait to make stuff faster later. Well, we can get started. Please sign in at the top if you would like. Um, and we can jump into the short agenda here. Uh, first one is the Ortelius proposal. This link is now dead, which I just realized because we merged the pull request. Um, let me pull that one back up. And share. We merged the proposal. We're still waiting on a couple of votes though. And then once that is completed, we will move the proposal from the directory it's in, uh, which is proposals over to be accepted. Um, so if anybody here has any questions or wants to discuss this anymore, um, I can pull up the proposal itself. It's a little easier to read now that it's merged because we can see the actual rendered markdown. Um, any questions or comments on this proposal or should we move on? I think we've had a, quite a bit of time to discuss this already. Yeah, no questions. Um, yeah, you know, Tara, it was. Oh, go ahead. I was say, Tara, um, yeah, Tara, you haven't voted yet. I don't know if it was implied since you're the sponsor or anything, but it, I just, you haven't replied on the email thread yet. I. Uh, sorry, when did that go out? I don't remember seeing it. Uh, last week, it. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, ah. There it is. Sorry, missed it. it got filtered. All right, replying now. Yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say, Tracy? 
Um, I can't remember. I think just it was nice to see all the community plus ones and yeah, yeah the folks who had voted. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been pretty impressed by the size of the Ortelius community in general. Um, all the people that showed up to the talk presentation and all of the different people working on integrating with it. They are very excited. <laughs> We're going to have a donuts and beer party on the 8th if this goes through. <laughs> <laughs> donuts and beer donuts. Really? Well, that's because there's some people in India and it's night and the rest of us are in, in the U.S. And it's morning, so we're going to just do donuts and beer. Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, next topic, the SIG security. This got started, I don't know when now, the, my sense of time is completely broken in 2020. Um, I think sometime in 2019 um, and ended up kind of winding down and fizzling out. So we've got some repos that have been created. This keeps happening to me where I click the link and it opens in a new tab. Um, we've got some repos um, and mailing lists and stuff that we should probably clean up um, unless anybody wants to kind of revisit and rekindle and try to take this back over. Um, there's this repo. There's a couple others, right, Tracy? Yeah, so I think it started off very enthusiastically and, and there was a, a kind of main parent SIG and then there was one uh, for security supply chain and one for software bill of materials. Um, and I think what I'd like to suggest is we, we certainly get rid of uh, the, the child ones um, since those activities ended up moving to different places, um, which is fine. Um, but I'd love to keep the parent SIG security and see what we could do to, to revive that because I think it is um, a, a big topic and something people have been interested in the past. It just hasn't found kind of its core group yet. Yeah, yeah so I think what we can do is archive the repositories um, so that way nothing is you know, permanently lost, but they're taken out of the list and everything. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. And then I'll on, on the we've got links to on the website. We'll just keep the one to security, and I will archive the mailing lists um, if if that's fine. So they we have groups IO um, for security as bomb and bill of materials. I'll just send out a warning to tell everyone make sure they're signed up to the main security groups and deprecate those. Just cool. All right. Well. Well, I and then, archived one, I'll do the other right now. And then... Sorry, Tara, were you going to say something? Mm -mm. No, 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 nothing, nothing useful. And yeah, just for folks on the call, I think it's worth saying that uh, we have a whole bunch of CDF alumni who went off um, to help start and run Open SSF, which stands for Dan. Open Source Security Foundation. The open Source Security. And I, I, I think it would be great to figure out ways we can collaborate together and uh, work with that community. On, they have some pretty neat tools, and I'd love to see them applied to, to Tecton and, and Jenkins and Jenkins X. Um, so, yeah, any thoughts folks have on how we could go about doing that? I'd love to hear them. Um, that's where uh, Kim wandered off to, in part. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then, uh, what whatever happened with the bomb K Williams project? Did that has that made it through any interesting um, milestones? Um, I haven't. I'm on the mailing list. I see that there's meetings still happening every couple of weeks. Um, I haven't seen much other than that. Um, but that's okay. being handled. I think it's part of the OMG, I think is where they settled. It's called the Object Management Group. Um, and they're a yeah. group that publishes formal you know, government level specifications and stuff. So um, yeah, I see her send emails every couple of weeks with agendas and stuff. Am I still like the idea of having a standard bomb incorporated into our projects, especially considering the amount of you know, maybe it could be part of like interoperability or something. That'd be interesting to yeah. raise with Fati. Yeah, I think everybody likes the idea. Um, and still I, waiting, I, I guess, to see how to use it. Do some, 
I do have some thoughts on that. And I showed up to the events um, sub working group of the interoperability. Uh, and, you know, because they're working on protocols and metadata. And that kind of feels like where the bomb should be. Um, and I want to chat with this group about potentially bringing that, uh, that group, the events group, maybe we call it events and templates up to its own proper SIG. Yeah, I, uh, I noticed the conversation on the events oh, work stream. <laughs> you can hear me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think it makes sense to, you know, visualize or make events work more visible. But my concern based on the minutes I've seen is the metadata is not tightly connected to events, to be honest, because I remember the first conversations we had like a few weeks ago where James Strachan started the conversation. And when he talked about metadata, it wasn't limited to events only because some people use events and others use other means of transporting metadata. So that is something we should perhaps take a conversation within the SIG interoperability and get input from others as well. Yeah, I think there's some very interesting work um, that can be done in that area. I almost feel like it's CICD version two. And I think elevating it, um, you know, works on our challenge of becoming um, the foundation that is, you know, leading the charge in terms of what CICD should look like, uh, and they they are covering a lot. And I, I, I just feel like for everything you just said, I think that that's why we need to elevate it and get more people into that um, SIG. Yeah, that's probably do, one of the. Oh, sorry, Dan. I was just gonna say, do you have a better word to try to maybe capture what they're doing because it's not just events then? Um, I would have called it some... events and templating, but. Um, okay. I think we need to call it what the industry is going to start thinking of it as. And I think that Tecton's already started leading the charge on the concept of events and catalogs. So uh, I feel like that we should write on that unless we change it to something else that Tecton is already using. Make up some random new word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure we captured it. <laughs> version two, <laughs> two dot because that's really what that group was working on, to be quite honest. And you know, Tecton's working on some of it. And I mean, I feel like it's all spread out, and I just, I just would really love to get those folks in the same room. This, this is one of those things that, that any of the enterprise companies in particular, if we do it right, is going to be huge, right? Because uh, being able to have a, a, a mechanism where attestation, self-attestation of your compliance and whatever process, this would be a really key element of that. Um, so yeah, just figuring out how to, how to organize that with, within the context of the projects, I think is going to be really interesting. Yeah, and what I uh, told the, uh, the SIG yesterday is that I felt that they were missing some key players. I mean, Harness is there, but we need to make sure that Circle CI is there, GitLab is there. Um, I know I'm forgetting a lot of uh, Code Fresh is there. Uh, JFrog is there. They have Shippable. Um, so I felt like there was, it could be a missed opportunity if we can't bring some of the commercial tools and with the project teams to really have a discussion around what this event and templating really means to the industry in a, at large, because they all need to be thinking in that way. I mean, PUP is already built on top of uh, Tecton. They should be there. It would be great to get that kind of a group together, I think. It would be great for the CDF. Cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know how important buzzwords and fancy names are, though, so I'm trying to think of one in my head right now to try, try to cover all these aspects. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be great if we could. <laughs> so, to be honest, on names, I, I think events works really well. I've had people reach out okay. asking about things around events. So uh, as a starting point, I, I think that, that that would attract the right sort of folks and set, set the tone well. And because like Tecton, Captain, and Eiffel, they all call these things events. So I think the name is familiar to those communities. If we rename this to something else entirely, then 
we may need to go back and explain what this is to those communities again. But yeah, a, a plus one for getting um, more folks involved. So if we can figure out how to elevate that so that happens, um, yeah, all for that. And we did reach out to um, uh, Mukalaka at the Argo CD from Intuit. I did send her a LinkedIn uh, email message to see if they would be interested in being involved in that as well. I know that uh, Chris had mentioned that he would like to see more kind of cross pollination between the CNCF and the CDF. So I thought that might be a good place. And the, the team was all, at, they were all asking about uh, how to get in touch with anybody from Argo. So if we have, I, I reached out, she is, I've got, I'm a, I'm a first friend with her on LinkedIn, but we'll see if she responds to my, e my, my email. Great. Right, cool. Sounds good. Next one, um, annual report, Jackie and, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tracy. Yeah, I, I think Jackie said she could make it after half past if we want to bump oh, okay. this to the end and give her a chance to. Sure. Um, okay, yeah, so we'll drop down to white papers then and then come back to this after if um, this takes long enough. Otherwise, yeah, she said she dropped the links in, so we can go ahead without her. Okay. We'll try. Um, yeah, so a white paper, the CICD interoperability one, who will present. Yeah, we got a contribution from Vival uh, I think from Red Hat on Jenkins Tecton plugin. He's still working on it. So that is one more uh, case study comparing to previous meeting. And we are still waiting uh, tech Jenkins Spinnaker case study. I talked to Cameron and he promised to check internally. And we are also waiting Kara uh, and James Rawlings to come back with Jenkins X and Tecton. And finally, the last case study was from Volvo Cars. I will go and spam Jeremy again to get Volvo Cars case study. And I think once we have those case studies, the rest is like filling the missing chapters. Like there are some high level chapters we need to put content, like what we, are we discussing with continuous delivery, which we will take stuff from the other documents and some future looking statements at the end of the document and conclusion. I think we are close, but Tracy, uh, Miranda, what do you think? Because we have been- Yeah, I, th I think you've done an amazing job of just getting folks to collect all those case studies. I'm really waiting for the Volvo one. I think that will be super cool uh, in addition to the ones already there. Um, yeah, and I think we said we, we want to, finalize this by the end of the month and then push that to the creative team. I think if we, I'm happy to treat the Thursday meeting as a working session. So we just fill out the remaining sections, um, remind people to get their case studies in and then just go with what we have by the end of the month. So as much as I think we should have all those case studies, I also think we've got a good base amount to, to pull the trigger at the end of the month. Yeah, I think we have five case studies already there, so it is, which is like half of like user and project. So it's already good, but getting Volvo and you know, uh, Jenkins, Tecton, Spinnaker would make it even better. Yeah. I, I think some folks will, will just respond to the deadline. So once, once you know there's the cutoff, it, it will come in. Awesome. I'm excited to see this come together. Jump back. All right. Uh, let's go to the annual report then and chat over this and see if Jackie gets some time to hop in. Um, yeah, so the plan is to publish this um, January 18th, about halfway through January, sometime that week. Um, it's got a long list of milestones we achieved in the last year. 2020 will be over eventually, <laughs> it seems like. Um, <laughs> I'm over you, yeah. Um, yeah, we did, in spite of everything, manage to meet quite a few milestones this year. Um, so it'll be great to see all this wrapped up in the annual report. Um, let me see. 
I'm sharing the wrong thing again. It's, it keeps happening. So here's what it looks like right now. January 18th to 22nd, it'll go out. Here is the list of dates that Jackie wanted us to cover. Um, we are quickly getting through some of these, um, past most of them. I guess we are somewhere between step three and four already. Yep. And I think the key thing is we do want um, folks from all the projects involved and uh, from all of our, our SIGs to, to provide a, a summary. Um, I think Jackie will be reaching out to, to project leads um, specifically, but um, we're, we're going to use the format as last year of stats in an infographic and then highlights um, kind of listed with, with links to any deeper, deeper outlines. And for the SIGs, I think uh, it's up to the SIGs if they want to share just summaries to whatever white papers, roadmaps, anything that's been published this year or any activity, summarize the, the key activity and the, the mission of that SIG. So I guess with that, we might need a talk one. I don't know if we want to, the talk would do a summary as well, just, oh yeah, you're in there, cool. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to request edit access, actually. don't have that for some reason. Yep, yeah, talk is here, December 18th. I'm here a couple times. <laughs> this is the other one you were talking about. Oh, yeah. And is there a section on six? Oh, yeah, we've got projects. Jithin, you're down for screwdriver, but if this a better contact point, uh, let us know. Uh, I'm good. I, it should be. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Anything else to cover on here? Oh, this job. <sighs> oh, here's the deck. Let me click on that too. Yep, same thing, it looks like in deck form. Nice. Yes, this will be fleshed out, shiny vision. So we can go and add some ideas to deck directly, I suppose, based on what we are working with. Yes, please do. Okay. Oops. Wrong button. Do you need something on the uh, MLOps roadmap for, for that asset? Yes, please. All right, I'll uh, catch up with you afterwards. Thanks. Perfect, thank you. Arg. I need to fix my mail filters. <laughs> I just Oops. found the email I got from Jackie a week or two ago about uh, how to get in touch with the ambassadors. Uh, I'm a terrible contributor. <laughs> I'm on vacation this week, so I can work on some of this stuff. All right, then. Um, anything else people want to cover today? Uh, I just want to just highlight one upcoming thing on GSOC. Um, I believe there's a folks getting together at the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach Meeting on Thursday just to start talking about GSOC 2021 application and pulling Jenkins in potentially as part of the CDF application for this year. Um, so I think following on from that meeting, uh, that will probably be a standing topic at this uh, talk meeting so we can start the coordination across all the projects for GSOC 2021. Hello, sorry, Jackie's here. Oh, hi, Jackie. Jackie. Hello. Um, we, um, should we send out a poke? Uh, like, I know Tekton didn't didn't do GSOC uh, this past year. I don't know if they want to try and do it next year. Um, Jith and I saw that you were on. You know, screwdriver's going to be interested potentially. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it, I think it was a good experience and. 
the student contributor, he is still actively involved with the community. And he actually finished all the work even after the project ended. He continued working on it and completed, polished it. And the feature has been merged into uh, our source code. Oh, nice. So all in all, it's all in all, it's it's been a good experience. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. We should probably try and, I mean, it was a little bit ad hoc. I mean, the Jenkins folks are well organized, but the rest of us were a little ad hoc. So um, we might yeah. want to try and think about a little bit of advertising. Jackie, maybe we could do some. Uh, yeah, I can here and definitely there. send some emails out. I just need to know who should I be reaching out to? Because I know for the uh, Jenkinson advocacy meeting that we have next week to talk about this. Um, let's see, from the Google side, I invited Christy, uh, excuse me, from the Tecton side, I invited Adam Roberts from IBM, Christy Wilson, and then Dan, and then Tara. And then I could, I just finished speaking with Andrea, so I can also invite Andrea to that and, um, and see if he's, he's interested in participating. But yes, I can just, we can touch off base, Tara, and, and I can work on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was all I had. Right. Nothing else. Um, awesome. All right. Well, thanks for coming today and enjoy the Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy, right. thing. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks. Okay. Great. And then Dan, if you have any questions about the annual report, just let me know. And sure. um, if the document is not clear enough, just, yeah, just ping me. Sure, yeah, I requested access. I think it's- Oh, okay, right sorry. <laughs> I thought it was no, no the, the link I shared is anybody. Okay, I'll do that right now. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.